and yeah. not we have any new cars since we unlocked this speed. So that said, take some time, and today and tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at two more cars from our Hot Wheels Legends car pack. And today we have probably the most unique car of the entire car pack. We've driven this thing, a 2 Jet Z, with its mid engine jet inspired 2JZ design. And then we've driven this thing, the F5 Dually, a crazy diesel powered rat rod made out of a classic tote, made out of an old tow truck. And this thing, this Studebaker Golden Hawk, a Dream Roadster, a crazy asymmetrical, almost rolling piece of abstract art. But nothing is as crazy as this. The Hot Wheels International Loaded Star CO1600. So right off the bat, it's Right, it is nearly 500 horsepower, and it's surprisingly, it's actually really lightweight. Like it's, it's lighter than the Dream Roadster and the Love, and it's actually extremely light for a this big truck. Just look at this thing. This thing is... This thing is nuts looking. We have our, obviously we have our exposed diff and all of our drive frame stuff. We have a massive mid-mounted V8 engine. And we have, I think this is one of the first vehicles in the Forza franchise to actually have the seating over, like in front of the front axle of the car, which is crazy. So let's get inside of it. This thing is. I have no. I, I don't know what that button down there is for. I have no idea where all these like little like things are. For. Not sure if it's a manual or I think that's a. I think this thing might be a manual. We obviously have the truck on the gear shift, which is pretty cool. We have obviously we have our um, upright looking. We have our upright seat position, and I have to do one last thing before before we get into our truck. Now we are ready to go truck driving. I think this obviously is, I think this is a new engine noise as well. And, yeah, there's just there's no really Really where you're taking what is on screen right now. And we can do burnouts as well. Let's just jump right into it. This thing could be surprisingly good or could handle it how I think it's gonna handle. It's a good launch for a truck and it. Really? It could. We're actually going around a corner in this thing. It can actually, like. I don't see around some of these tighter corners, but. It definitely does start from a little bit of understeer, which is kind of obvious since it's massive truck. But I think. So you can be enough weight over those front tires with the cab over them. Let's try to 
a lot, honestly, like a normal car. It looks a lot different. I should not have been able to hit that corner completely flat out. Surprisingly, the vehicle it handles like really, really good. Oh, it's trick makes some, something very special up its its wheel arches. There, I, I nailed it. Let's start with the. Uh, I'm start with like a B or A class build. So we can do an engine swapping throw in. Our 7.2 liter racing V with 800 horsepower in B class. We're gonna throw an all wheel drive. Honestly, the way this truck is set up, I think we don't actually even need to throw an all wheel drive just because I think it. Will it grip very well still? To keep it more legit, let's supercharge it. We'll come back to the twin turbos. We can throw in some arrow, but we could we can have the a little tow hook on our and we can Okay. Move moving on from whatever the hell that was. Tires. We are actually on We're not even on It, look how much drag tires improves the performance. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing, I can tell you that. Why is weight reduction lower our class? What? What? Okay. It's not even that much weight reduction, but it lower it brings our class downwards for some reason. What? Over a thousand horsepower in A class, but we only weigh 2,800 pounds in a truck. The, I'm interested. Will this thing just spin out? This against our Mercedes racing truck and our Iron Knight. And sure, why not? Why Let's go all out. I'm actually going to keep it nice and soft because I think that's what causes us to turn so well. We are slammed. In our okay, I just realized how much smaller we are than everyone else. 
into the first corner and get quite a lot of wheel spin. So we turn for so much lighter than everyone else. And sure, yes, I know racing trucks that aren't really even. The game doesn't really even count this as a truck. It counts it as a rising customs. I think it's because if it counted as a truck, this would be the most overpowered thing on the planet. Bro. Maybe we're catching up to do. This thing is normally when driving trucks. I'm like, I feel like rage could be so hard to drive in this game. But this one, it it's real spinny, but it's easy. It's probably fun to drive. You just drift it around, and he who comes in last, in this case third place, shall be sideways and smiling, or backwards and smiling. In this case, and did he kind of smoke? Uh, oh, we were all, oh, our lap time was only one second slower than theirs, but oh, and the guy that won was actually in the hop, the same truck as ours. So I feel like if you swap all wheel drive onto it, it can actually become competitive, but I don't care because. My rear-wheel drive version is a lot more fun, but even though it's quite wheel speed, it's surprisingly agile for such, for having a 1300 horsepower. Now let's go all out, all wheel drives. Look at our stats go all the way up. Twin turbo it. Let's toss on a very, very strange Forza Aero. As well as our really weird rear wing. We. The, the twin turbos only give us five more horsepower, but we are a lot lighter and we have a lot more grip with our all wheel drive. Let's run a new paint job and then we'll. Let's just go with Pink Boy. Smokey and the Bat, they, they, need, they didn't even need Trans Am, they should just use this and this only. All 400, all 400 cases of cores and style. And fast enough to run away. Smokey. And it has a double win, like a Chinese super car. And it can drift. And it has tire letters. And it's chrome. And it's stripes. And it's pink. And it can do 360s. And it's a truck. I mean, just look at this thing. This is. Cars in this game, and it's and it works. It actually like we'll have to see, but I bet you that this weird pink monstrosity see before ye, you see before ye will actually like work as a functioning race car. Or well, car in air quotes. Due to 60 in 1.7 seconds, we do only have. Okay. And there we go. And goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You're on the corner. You thought you could lose me? Nope. Still passing everyone. Okay, that. 
get out of the way. You get out of the way, and I have massive trucks. I'm gonna shove everyone out of the way. But I'm also massive trucks, so everyone's getting in my way. As long as the big vehicles, it, it, even, they may hand like this. It's it's surprisingly lightweight and handles really good for some big vehicles. But the problem is it is that it's still it can't run the fact that it's a big vehicle. It it it, it has a hard time really fitting on the track. But as you look at it, it's just good by atomic bubble top number one and number two. But never mind. You have two engines, but I have two wings. I'm not sure if we're gonna be up. Come on, come on. Up. Okay, I just have to get around him, and I think I'll be able to out accelerate them. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 and that is what I call truck racing. Good is this thing off road? Let's try John Duan Song's tune and see if this thing. Why don't we take it to like a tried and true rally trail? The launch is there, but it still has the launch. This is the weirdest thing in the race, but we're racing a plumber's van. I've heard before his face we're beating a plumber's van. There's SpongeBob taxi truck, hot wheels, semi truck, rally racing, whatever the hell this double wing mid engine thing. And we're just flying past the legendary rally cars like. Hey, it's an 037, just a legendary rally car of all time. Just beat our SpongeBob truck. They should have seized. They should bring back Group B, and this should be the. If they bring back Group B, I'm gonna make my own company and enter this thing in it, and then crush all that. My way is Audi and Subaru Ford won't stand a chance. Thanks for our dimension of this truck. This thing was built, well, that, not the one that I made was built in like a couple minutes, but the real life truck was built in three months. Just a beat up old box truck. To whatever it was before I turned it into whatever this is. So if you want a really fast, we proved that stock is really fast, so in theory, if you want a fast car, all I need is just a old. National Harvester box truck and then even race car. This is logical to me, but. But also, this thing is also a, go a good rally car that. SpongeBob's face fly across the screen at the end of a race on the side of a truck is about one of the most. Something I cannot say I've ever experienced in my life ever before. There is something extremely cool this truck can do. As to find it shouldn't be that hard to find. I was to try to find the This one looks promising. Okay, let's see this. 
Oh, okay, okay, that's that's. Is kind of do a small force for a little bit and just lower it. It's sh straight up. But for now, let's go to. Let's over to Fortune Island. And try making our very own drift tune for this thing. Let's run our racing V8, rear wheel drive, supercharge it since we are going to be drifting. We need that instant torque. And then we're going to find out to run our drift suspension. And this is basically just a slightly different version of our A class tune. It's basically just the same amount of horsepower, same everything, but just a little bit lighter and with our drift suspension. Another funny thing with this truck is it was made in 1969, so it also has a funny number in its name. Right off the bat, we are. We are drifting. Surprisingly, not spinning out. In fact, for you may actually want to swap on like sport or something so it's less grippy because it does feel like it's gripping up a little bit. Too much for the sake of time, we're just going to test it with our race tires. And then. And then we've already spun out. So yeah, maybe these are the right tires. Just tandeming with you just like kind of a normal at least five ten. And just a massive chrome Thanos semi truck thing. This could mean like, like, initial D or Tokyo Drift, just, just big, massive chrome thing, drifting alongside A86s and RX7s, and beating them. And 3,000 points in this. Because of the burnouts. Okay, anyway, tomorrow we'll be checking out a brand new. We'll check out another Hot Wheels car, the Nash Metropolitan. Which will be really, really cool. 
and once again for today, this is the absolutely insane International Harvester from Hot Wheels. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more crazy cars like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.